Hey guys, it's Pitts, and today I went to Yankee Candles Dollar Tart and Votive Sale. I'm not a huge tart burner, but I do like to buy tarts when they're on sale because I think it's a really good way to find out more about scents that you're interested in. Um, obviously, when I do Yankee, I like to kind of go big or go home. I only buy large jars, but it is a big money commitment, so I like to kind of use tarts to find out which scents are worth the... the um, investment. So these are just a few different scents I picked up. They're all new to me, um, but most of them are not new. So anyway, here's what I got. Starting off, I got Pink Sands. I think every Yankee fan knows what Pink Sands smells like. It's kind of a sugary, sweet, powdery, perfumey scent. Um, I could see how it would be a general crowd pleaser. It's very girly. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I'm not crazy about it, but we'll see when I burn it. I mean, maybe maybe there's something behind all the hype. Who knows? Pineapple cilantro has been around forever. This is a great pineapple scent. I mean, I don't smell the cilantro on cold sniff, but maybe when it's burning, this is just a really nice kind of a kind of a oh yeah, a kind of a green a greens mixed with pineapple scent. So I don't think this is going to end up being a favorite, but I just wanted to try it. Then we have Island Spa, which I think Gigi would actually really like. She loves lemon. And Island Spa is different from most lemons that I think are around because this is what I would consider a Lysol kind of lemon. This is, this is not bakery. There's no vanilla. There's no cookies, cupcakes, marshmallows, fluffs. There's no, none of that in here. This is a lemongrass kind of lemon. It's very crisp, very clean, pure lemon. So I, I'm curious to see if, if Gigi would like it because she's the lemon connoisseur. So I might wait to burn that for when she comes over. So next we have Luau Party, which I'm the least excited about in all of my choices today, but ironically it's one of the newest scents that they have. I can't even, I can't pinpoint anything with this scent. I mean, it smells like orange punch to me, and I don't know if I'm getting that just because it's like literally orange, but I can't pinpoint any fruits, maybe like mango or something. I don't know. It really bothered me that I couldn't figure out what it smelled like, so I had to get it. Does that make sense? I don't know. It really bothers me when I can't like break down scents. So we'll see. I don't anticipate this being a hit, although I think it is kind of popular out of all the new releases this spring. Sun and Sand is your basic copper tone suntan lotion smell. Uh, it's very strong, um, or it smells strong on cold sniff. And I don't know, this might even be like too strong in a large jar, but I'm really excited to see. Um, yeah, I got a scented gift card from Yankee Candle and it was scented in this scent and it made my wallet smell really nice, so we'll see. Golden Sands, Pink Sands, more sensual cousin. Um, this reminds me of, I believe, oh my god, I can't talk. I believe at Victoria's Secret it's called Amber Romance. I could totally be wrong. And at Bath and Body Works, Sensual Amber. This is a very um, warm, ambery scent to me. Uh, I think the picture on the label is kind of perfect for it. I don't know, that's the mood that it evokes to me. Like a warm, summery night. I don't know, it's it's kind of musky, ambery. I think it'll be good. Might be a little bit strong. Beechwood. So Beechwood is like, I feel like it's like a silent, I don't know, but deadly kind of, kind of scent. That sounds weird because it sounds like a fart, but um, like I feel like nobody ever talks about Beechwood, but it's really good. Um, it's a masculine scent. I guess you would have to say it's cologne. -y. It's not overly strong though, like, um, you know, mahogany teakwood and all those kind of scents. This is not that way. This is almost kind of like a fresh, more fresh spin on like a masculine scent. So I'm actually really excited to see how that goes. I feel like I've probably said that a million times. Napa Valley Sun is kind of more obscure. It was around and then it went away for a long time and now it's back and at my store they kind of hide it all the way in the back of the store. It's kind of random. But this is another one that's kind of hard for me to place and it bothers me. But it's like a... It's not grapes or anything. Which, I don't know. I don't know why I thought it might be. Are those little grape orchards? I don't know. Um, anywho. It's like a vanilla-y 
powdery uh, floral scent. It kind of reminds me of, actually there's a suave shampoo called, I believe, Everlasting Sunshine. It's yellow and it has like flowers on the front. That's what this smells like. It is a vanilla floral. So we'll see. I actually have no idea how that one's going to turn out. And then under the palms. Okay, so this is like my most exciting story because when I first smelled this, when it first came out, I did not really like it. Like I just thought it was a basic coconut, um, just like a really bland kind of coconut and I was not thrilled. And then when I went in today and smelled it, I got kind of like a green, like a plant note to it. Like... I don't know, like something green, like something, there was something more there that I didn't smell the first time. There was something in addition to the coconut and I couldn't think of what it was and I was kind of intrigued and then it hit me. It totally reminds me of one of my absolute most favorite summertime perfumes, which is Island Palm Beach by Michael Kors. Um, obviously it's in his Island collection, it's the green one. That scent is absolutely to die for. It's so unique, it's like a very black peppery green scent. Um, it's a very, it's just a very unique scent. It's very strong, spicy, smells like black pepper mixed with plants. I, it's really weird, but that's what this reminds me of. Just not with the black pepper. It's not heavy on the black pepper. There's no real spice to it, but it has that kind of green coconut, um, you know, like kind of like a tropical feel, but, but something more to it. It definitely smells like it could be like a fusion of like greenhouse and coconut, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm actually really excited to see how this goes. I want to see if my hunch is correct and see if when it burn if when it burns, it really does smell like that uh, perfume. So anyway, yeah, that is everything I got, you guys. Thank you for watching my haul. If you have any opinions on anything, let me know down below. I'd love to hear them, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.